Hi, boys and girls. Okay, so today we are going to be talking about our favorite topic, which is rhyming. We've been using it since yesterday. We use the Itsy Bitsy Spider to, in songs and poems to really help us hear our words rhyme. Now, today, we're actually going to be using our picture card swords. What's a picture card sword? They're just going to be helpful for us students, like Ms. Gomez, who need to actually see it so I can understand them better. Because with the words and singing, that's more for listeners. But a visual is going to be helpful for you to actually see it and really just understand it. If you need help, we're going to go over all that, okay? So for our nursery rhymes today that are going to help us hear the rhythm and rhyme in our picture card swords, to really see it, excuse me, it's going to be Hickory Dickory Dock and Humpty Dumpty. So, Ms. Gomez is going to read this to you guys. Then, the worksheet that I gave you guys, we are going to go over it as a class. Sorry. There we go. We're going to go over it as a class. We're going to cut it out, and then we're going to match our rhyming words, okay? But first, we're going to read our first nursery rhyme, which is going to be Hickory Dickory Dog, okay? Hickory Dickory Dog. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory Dickory Dog. Okay, so that is going to be our first story. So from what we learned last week, start hearing those rhyming warms. Dock, clock, one, dock, down. You know, start hearing those. Start using the what we heard from last week in rhyming, okay? So now we're going to read our Humpty Dumpty one, okay? All right. It's going to be Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king horses and all the king men couldn't put Humpty together again. All right, so at this time, turn to a buddy and tell him a word, two words that you heard were rhyming. Then we're going to come back together in two minutes. You guys are going to share words that you guys think rhymed. You guys, you guys think they may rhyme. You guys think they sound alike. They spell alike. So go ahead and look where I have the stories on the screen. And then go ahead and take these two minutes, okay? All right, now bringing it back, guys. Somebody raise your hand if you would like to share. Yes, Tim. Wall and fall, that would be a rhyming word because they ended the same sound. Wall, fall, wall, fall, wall, fall. It sounds like I'm saying waffle. But I'm saying wall, fall, you know? Yes, for the hickory dickory, one and clock, they're close, but they don't exactly rhyme because if we say one clock, one clock, one clock, but if you say clock and dock, clock and dock, clock and dock, those two words actually do rhyme. Okay, so everybody take the worksheet that I gave you guys. We, dock and clock is also a good one. There you go, dock and clock, yes. Okay, so the worksheet that I gave you guys, you guys are going to take your scissors and you're going to cut these out. You're going to cut it into your own squares, okay? Then we are going to create a T-chart in our notebooks. So right now, take a couple seconds, cut that out. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as you have the squares, okay? All right. And also, we're going to have one for the Hickory Dickory Dock. And then we're going to have one for the Humpty Dumpty one. So both of them are going to get their picture card sort. All right. Once you have cut it out, make sure you create a T-chart. A T-chart. Ms. Gomez is going to show you an example, and then you guys are going to do the rest. And I'll be walking around, and if you guys have any questions or anything, make sure you raise your hand. Ooh, Miss Gomez's screen is a little bright. Hold on, y'all. Will that help or not? Let me see. Uh... Okay, so maybe this is too bright. Hold on, y'all. Can you see it better? A lot of screen. Hmm. Is that better for y'all? Sorry, guys. We're having a little bit of technical difficulties. Okay, well, let's keep going. So, once you have cut it out, go ahead and take five minutes and try to match them yourself. Create your T-chart. And let me show you my example first. So, you're going to label it. Hickory Dickory Dock, our first story, and Humpty Dumpty, which is going to be our second story. So, for my first story, Miss Gomez wrote that mouse and house have matching rhyme the mouse house mouse house they both rhyme and they they end up in the same sound for my humpty dumpty miss gomez said wall and fall those are two rhyming words that match so from the pictures that i gave you go ahead and cut them out and label them and then put a little line so i know where you're 
matching it to. Okay. I'll be walking around if anybody needs help. Raise your hand and please let me know. All right, if you guys are done, I'm gonna give you guys 30 more seconds to finish up and then we're all gonna share all of our matching rhyme words together, okay? All right, so our categories was our two stories. Categories is just in where they are going to, like their own house. In my house, we have two spaces, two rooms, the Hickory Dickory and the Humpty Dumpty. So for the Hickory Dickory, I said mouse and house are rhyming words. So if you look at your, you can part the mouse and the house are going to be matching words. And then I have a clock and sock. Those are also rhyming words. So make sure that you have that in your T-chart, which you guys are going to be turning in as an exit ticket, okay? All right, now can somebody share with me in the Humpty Dumpty? Wall and fall, that is right. Wall and fall are going to be matching words. For this one, all right, and our second matching rhyming word would be men and hen. Men and hen. So make sure you do that in your T-chart. Put that, put the two matching rhyme words and match the picture card source with each other, okay? All right, you guys did an awesome job. At this point, guys, go ahead and turn with your neighbor and tell them what your favorite rhyming word is. Which is your favorite story from today? Did you like Hickory Dickory Dock more? Or did you like Humpty Dumpty more? I personally like Humpty Dumpty more. He, you know, he was a silly, silly egg. He fell off the wall. He fall in wall, you know? So tell them what your favorite part was. Tell them what your favorite rhyming pair is. Miss Gomez's rhyming pair is going to be the wall and fall. Waffle, waffle. Sounds like a waffle, but it's wall and fall. Waffle. All right. You guys did an awesome job today in our rhyming words, guys. So I'm going to be walking around. If you guys need help or if you want to ask any questions, please feel free to say so, okay? Today we worked on our rhyming words and matching them with picture cards and putting them into their book categories. Everybody give yourself a high five, okay, guys? Tomorrow we are going to continue recognizing our rhythm words in our rhyming with nursery rhymes that we use in our everyday lives, okay? Great work today, guys. All right, give yourself a hands clap. All right, you guys have a good one.